Good evening. It is Memorial Day weekend. It is Saturday, May 23rd, 2020. Memorial Day weekend, memory of those who lost their lives protecting our country, defending our country. And just put them in your memories. And for those who lost their family members, pray and stay strong and you know, in your mind, thank them. Today, I'm going to talk about Are We Children of God? from 1 John chapter 3. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it does not know him. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it, is, it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And who, everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. So are we children of God? I believe I'm a child of God. Although I have my human ways. Um, but I pray every day. I ask for forgiveness. And I believe I am a child of God. And let's continue on. Whoever commits sin also commits lawlessness. And sin is lawlessness. And if you know and you know that he who is manifested to take away our sins and in him there is no sin. He's talking about Jesus here. Whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen him nor knew, known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Amen? Excuse me, bogues. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for he, he, he his seed remains in him and he cannot sin because he has been born of God amen 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 have you been saved have you accepted Christ as your Savior do you know the Lord do you want to know the Lord ask the Lord for forgiveness and he can help you out the bible helps us out we have to read every day and study the bible and learn to become ch children of, of of god the story is here in this children of god and the children of the devil are manif manifest whoever does not practice righteousness is not of god nor is he who does not love his brother. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Amen. Amen. So love one another as the Lord loved us. And 
Ask for forgiveness as we all have sinned. I have some prayer requests. Uh, so pray for strength, faith, and healings uh, for Erica, Eric, Bonnie, Rick, and Barb, Chris, Maria, Lucy, and Tito, Keith, Kenny, Carol, Candy, and Sabrina. Pray for them and just keep them in your prayers. If you have any prayer requests, put them in my in the uh, comments below. Let me know and we'll put prayers out there. Also, pray for our military and the troops that have deployed, that are overseas, that are on home right now. Uh, pray for our law enforcement, uh, firefighters, EMTs, doctors, and nurses. They're out there every day doing what they got to do on the streets and in the hospitals. Uh, pray for those in the grocery stores, uh, your checkout people and the grocery stockers that's been out there working uh, on a daily purpose there. So pray for them and thank them if you come across them and thank them. You know, they put up with a rough life. All right, pray for the defenders and protectors, the Templars. And pray for the pastors, ministers, chaplains, and evangelists, or anybody that, uh, that teaches the Word or practices the Word of God. Uh, pray for the chaplain team, 9th District chaplain team, police, police chaplains. And pray for the Bridge Church and Pastor Jacob and the Bridge team and Bridge family that we stay strong and grow strong that everything we do together, that we do it in the, with the Lord. Uh, pray for our nation, pray for the world, pray for, the, for peace and healing, uh, pray for the government, uh, for revival, and the governments uh, see the Lord and find the Lord. Uh, pray for my family and my ministry that I grow strong and stay going strong. I hope everybody's healthy and their families are healthy out there, uh, staying strong in the Lord. Uh, they, I know we've been through some rough times in the past few months. Uh, everything's doing good here at my family. Uh, we're staying strong and we're waiting for everything to open and the churches to open so we can have fellowship again. But we will get there one day at a time, and we will go. And only the Lord knows what we're doing. So don't forget to hit subscribe and hit like on my channel. Again, if you have any prayer requests or praise reports, put them in the comments below. Let me know. I, I would like to pray for you, and others will pray for you too. More prayers are the better. It's not over till God says it's over. Keep fighting until your victory is won. Remember your battle plan. Pray, fight, and trust. Those who leave everything in God's hands will eventually see God's hands in everything they do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Until you meet again, God bless and stay healthy.